All right, all you chicken nugget enthusiasts, welcome to episode of uh, episode eleven, I believe it is, of Nothing But Nuggies. Uh, today we have a special guest, Caesar. Caesar is here to um, do this video with us, and Caesar is made up of some interesting, interesting elements. Caesar, what have we got going on here? Looks like we have some lovely carrot hair, uh, some beautiful green cucumber eyes and eyebrows, and a misshapen, maybe smiling, half smiling mouth of Caesar dressing. Got some Newman's own, and some chicken nugget nose, ears, and teeth. So, um, again, we just did a video on fruit. We've done some vegetables with our chicken nuggets. Um, again, I, I'm just going to repeat what I said in the other one. I really like the, some of the textures that fruits and vegetables bring to our uh, favorite food, the chicken nugget. And when we're presenting and playing with it, it really uh, adds color and texture and a lot of things that you don't get from some of the other like dips and sauces that we uh, play with when we're eating our chicken nuggets. So uh, let's have a healthy chicken nugget snack with our friend Caesar. So Caesar, tell us about the stuff that's making up your face. Why don't we start with this beautiful, luxurious carrot hair? Uh, oh, really? Caesar says the longest carrot was over 19 feet, 19 feet long, 19 foot long, really long, almost 20 feet long. That is, I'm trying to think of something. I'm almost six feet long. So that's three of me uh, plus standing on top of each other. Whoa, that's a long carrot. Uh, another interesting fact about carrots, which I learned probably about a year ago, and I was pretty old and I'm kind of surprised I didn't know it before then. Baby carrots, which are a lot of people's favorites, are actually not like a little carrot. A lot of them are actually misshapen or slender carrots that are peeled and cut to look like small carrots. Um, the, the carrot farmers got together a while back and uh, put it forth as an alternative to like potato chips as a healthy snack. But <laughs> if, if you had asked me a couple of years ago, I would have said that, you know, it was a different plant that they were planting and pulling up these baby carrots on them. So kind of interesting. Um, what about your beautiful eyes, Caesar? Cucumbers, yes. And actually these cucumbers, um, we like all kinds of cucumbers. These are kind of like these mini ones. Uh, let's see what they call them. Yeah, mini seedless cucumbers. So cucumbers, these actually do come this way. It's not a bigger cu cucumber that's cut up. Um, but yeah, big cucumbers, little cucumbers, they are all delicious. And they have some interesting uh, things about them that I did not know before. The one thing I did know is that pickles come from cucumbers. And pickles are a delicious. So thank you, cucumber. Another uh, thing that I read is that if you cut them up, uh, and kind of puree them and put them on a sunburn, it can actually soothe a sunburn. So kind of a little homemade remedy. Um, and another one, which I haven't tried, I'll be interested to see if it works. It says if you actually cut a cucumber and put it on the top of your mouth, let me try it right now, for like 20 seconds. They said it kills bacteria up there and actually freshens your breath. So kind of interesting. Maybe that's why they put cucumber in water, because it's kind of like a fresh tasting um, addition. Interesting. Uh, delicious crunchy cucumber. Let me try some of this delicious carrot hair. Tastes like a carrot. A lot of ways to cut them up, uh, shave them, eat them just like they come. It's all good. Finally, the Caesar dressing. The Caesar dressing must have been named after Julius Caesar, right? No, it was actually named after an Italian uh, chef. Uh, 
So apparently it has nothing to do with Julius Caesar, even though that's kind of what they put on the bottle. But maybe that's just a, a marketing thing. But interesting to know, because I would have guessed the other way too. Another thing I uh, read was that the first Caesar dressing didn't have anchovies in it, which I guess is a staple of C Caesar dressing now, uh, which I didn't know. I don't know how much of the taste that is. Um, I guess I never thought about it, but anchovies are those little fish, right? I think so. But it definitely tastes good with vegetables. One of the good, basically Caesar, ranch, um, a lot of those salad dressings are yummy to dip uh, vegetables in. And we're going to see if it's yummy to dip chicken nuggets in. So let's get eaten. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me taste the Caesar by itself. I wonder if I can taste the anchovy. Not that I know what anchovies taste like necessarily. Hmm. I mean, that's what anchovies taste like. I would think I have anchovies tasting like, a, you know, I've had them on salad before. Like a, like a salty little fish. Yeah, I can see how that could be in there. All right. Now let's try them with the star of the show, the chicken nuggets. All right. Why don't we start with um, the cucumbers on Susan's nose. Let's try that. Mm. <laughs> I like that. Gives it a little crunch. You know, I don't know if it's because I read it and it's in my head, but it does feel like it's like a, it does freshen things up. Like a fresh taste to it. I don't know if that's because it's mostly water or air or whatnot, but uh, tasty. I like that. I would have that again. And what should we try next, Caesar? Maybe some of this delicious carrot. All right, carrot hair. Hi, <laughs> stay. Good. I think I like the cucumber more. Um, the 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 taste of the carrot I don't think is that powerful. You do get a little crunch, maybe because it's shaved and not cut up like the cucumber. Maybe you get more of a crunch if you cut it like that. But so far, I go with the cucumber. And let's try this yuma dressing. Mm -hmm. Looks good. <clears throat> it's good but i'll tell you what i think i'd rather go with the cucumber like after having that crunch combined with the uh chicken nugget um i miss it i really i really like that and that's what something you don't get with any of the dips or sauces that are traditional um classic things to pair the chicken nuggets with i really like that crunch all right and to finish off Let's combine all three. So we get some Caesar dressing combined with some a carrot hair. A Caesar dressing will act like glue a little bit, maybe. And add a delicious cucumber on top. <laughs> Mmm, that's good. You get the, the Caesar flavor with that crunch. Mm -mm -mm. Very good. You know what? Carrots also come in chips. I think um, the, the carrot chips might be very similar to the cucumber as far as getting that crunch. So if I was going to have carrots with chicken nuggets in the future, I think I'd, I'd probably get those, um, the kind that are cut in like the, the chip style. Um very good. I don't know if I like all three together more or the cucumber by itself. Um, but I, I'd say one of those two. You know what? I think I'd have to say I, I'd go just with the plain cucumber and the chicken nugget. That is really, really good. Uh, 
So, Chicken Nugget Enthusiast, thank you for joining us. Caesar, thank you for your help. Sorry about eating your face. Um, but feel free to like the video, subscribe for future videos, and let us know if you have any suggestions for what you want us to pair chicken nuggets with so we can continue this uh, wonderful learning delicious journey together. Have a great day.